Hey guys, Conspiracy here. Welcome to this survival open world sandbox oriented game set out in the wilderness known as Subsistence. No, it's not Substance, it's Subsistence. <laughs> uh, today we're going to walk through your first day in the game. For those of you that are curious about the game, maybe you're thinking about purchasing the game or just have general interest in the game, this, is, this video is for you. We're going to walk through getting through your very first day, and on the way we'll talk about the different features of the game, even though this video obviously can't cover every single feature in a short period of time. Um, hopefully the, the video will allow you to decide if you are going to purchase the game or not. And uh, if you're new to the game, I'll help you get through your very first day without dying. So let's get cracking here. I'm going to create a new solo game. And uh, I'm going to switch over to my second profile. You can have up to five here. It's pretty cool. I'm going to create a new profile slot here just so I can make these videos for you. I'm going to start with the default normal setting with Hunters enabled checked. And let's check out this beautiful game using the Unreal 3 engine. I'm playing this game at 4K and oof, holy cow, it is beautiful. Oh man, look at this. We've got the sun rising over here in the east right next to some waterfalls. Wow. Oh man. Let's take a look around. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We've got na we've got uh, day and nighttime cycles in the game. Days are about 30 uh, 30 minutes real time. Nights are much shorter, maybe 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. Love that. Games have sure come a long ways. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Man. Well, let's get started. On the bottom of my screen there, I've got a hot bar. Push number one there on my keyboard is going to bring out my uh, handy dandy axe here. We need to take that to these trees over here. Today is going to be all about wood gathering and a couple other resources of that too. So let's take this let's take this axe to this tree here. They don't actually fall, but they do uh, provide you a renewable resource known as wood, or in this case, in this game, logs. And, uh, oh my gosh, that is just so beautiful. We've got some medicinal plants here. We'll pick that up. We don't need those. But we'll pick it up anyway. The second thing you need to look out for and grab on your first day are these little plants sticking up here. These are fiber plants. You'll find these everywhere. They blend in really easily. Uh, but they do stick out like that one did right out kind of in these open areas here. You want to collect a bunch of those too. Maybe uh, about 20, 20 of those should be, you'll be you'll be rocking. Got a big old tree here too. That's going to give me quite a few pieces of log here. Maybe six logs for this big thick tree here. Let's pick him up. a bear over there. Gotta watch out for those too. We don't want to be messing with him. So get yourself about a hundred logs today. You're gonna be well off into your first day, even into the second day with that many. And like I said, uh, about 20 of those fibers. You can easily get that in this game. I'm gonna pick up about uh, 20 of those. You'll be styling. And uh, avoid the wolves and the bears. They will chew you up and spit you out. And poop you out. All over this beautiful landscape. Hmm, is that another player right there? Hmm, don't know. But he's growling at me because I'm getting a little bit close to him. And so you want to avoid those guys at all costs. You don't want to be tangling with those guys. It's not worth it on your first day. That's probably what kills people. Gets people through, uh not getting people through their first day rather is dying. So 50% of surviving is just really avoiding these animals on your first day. Not getting so close. See I could chance it and get close to that fiber plant uh, but I don't think well he might be walking away. You gotta make a good judgment call on this. I'm not gonna risk it. No way. Let's be smart on our first day. Or not. You could run in guns blazing. You're going to probably run out of a, a second one here. I want my pistol. In fact, let me reload that. So we've got uh, one in the chamber and six in the magazine there. You could go guns blazing at that boy. Um, if you're lucky and every single shot hits that bear, you might take him down. But uh, don't worry about it. We're going to hunt those tomorrow. Those are rabbits. He's going to run away here in just a second. Don't worry about hunting today either. 
because there'll be plenty of opportunity for that tomorrow. Today's all about resource gathering, so don't waste too much time with that stuff. Just focus on getting this wood. Uh, as well as the fiber plants. Those are really important. But that is just... Wow, look at that. It's opening up to this lake here. Man, I feel like I'm walking out here in this wilderness. I want to be here, physically be here, because I bet that air smells so good. And the temperature, 11 Celsius, you know, it's not hot at all, but it sure would feel nice. So yeah, 100, 100 of those logs would be great, and about uh, 20 of those fiber plants. I'm gonna I'm gonna round this uh, I'm gonna go around this lake a little bit here. See what, what else we can find. We also need to find loot crates. The third thing you need to focus on are loot crates. Hopefully we'll find find a couple of them over here. You need to what we're looking for in those loot crates, by the way, is not only you know awesome loot, but we're also looking for nails because we need a way to. What you want to do on your first day is you want to build yourself a base. And uh, there's a couple fiber plants over here. Let's venture over here and pick those up. Oh, there's a crate there too. Rock on. Let me just grab this one here first. These are wooden crates here. These ones are going to typically have building materials. What we need are the nails. Yeah, we got lots of nails here. Good deal. Already got 15 nails. You need about 20 of those on your first day. Not very hard to get. Um, some more of these fiber plants too. Good deal. So you want to get, uh, like I said, about 20, maybe 30 nails. You'll be rocking. You'll be able to build a couple base pieces with 30 nails. But basically, we're going to take these logs. This game is all about crafting, too. It has a good, a, a good amount of crafting in it. So what you want to do is craft a wooden foundation. What you doing, little guy? You want to be eating, don't you? We're going to take those logs. We're going to convert them into wooden planks. And then we're going to take those wooden planks, we're going to take some cordage. We're going to create some cordage, which is created from these fibers. We're going to take that cordage, we're going to take those wooden planks and these nails, and be able to craft ourselves a foundation piece. It's the same process for your walls and your ceilings. A bit of this, a bit of that. This isn't going to be like a, a Star Wars Galaxy type crafting system where you have quality attributes or anything like that. None of those dynamics are in the game. That's fine, you don't need that in this type of game. A little chicken there. Grab some trees. Maybe we'll come around this little rock here and see what else is around here. But man, that is beautiful. Whew. So while we're grinding away here, what are some of the features of the game? A lot of features in this game. It's an early access. But uh, even at that, it just means that nothing is 100% done yet. You know, there are some balancing issues. Nothing major. Nothing to, that should keep you away from playing this game. My uh, first feature that I like is the farming piece. It's not going to be like a farming simulator by any means. There's a crate over there. There's also a bear. Two crates over there and a bear. Uh, I might be able to get to that crate. Definitely not gonna. Might be able to get to that one too. Maybe I'll, I'll sneak up slowly here. No, I'm not gonna chance it. I, I've decided not to. I'm like a woman. I'm gonna change my mind really quick. <laughs> just kidding. Come, come on. Just kidding. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if I can get those two. I don't. Uh, maybe he's backing away. Maybe if he patrols that way a little bit more, I can creep up here, and sneak up on this crate. I want those wooden boxes because they've got the nails. You can see the other loot crate over there. It looks like kind of like a bag. By the way, if that bear starts growling at me, I'm going to book it to the right. We got some uh, biofuel here. We got some cordage. That's cool. Let's just, uh, let's just back. You can see they're up on that rock over there. Right, uh, right here. Th those are ore. And the ore is helpful for, um, you can get like potassium, you can get iron and copper some other ones too. We're, those are going to be used for your advanced crafting stuff. 
For example, you need iron fragments to um, to build a wire to build a rifle. You need some other materials too, but iron iron fragments are going to be what you need key there. Nice couple more plants there. Yeah, this is a good it's a good route, huh? Beautiful out here. Let's grab this tree here. This is a pretty looking tree. Let's grab this one. Pay attention. Make sure there's nothing coming up behind you. I always I'm all I'm kinda paranoid in this game. Keep my eye on that bear. So he's staying put. Phew. Good, good, good. You'll notice I'm walking in this game a lot too. Um, I don't run too much. I like to keep my uh, my reserves handy just in case I need them. So we got two crates way over there. That might be worth the worth the adventure. So let's head over that way. Now you can farm in this game. You, like I said, you can you can raise animals. You can raise rabbits and chickens. It's pretty cool. And you can, uh, of course, grow fruits and vegetables and other plants. You just gotta find the seeds. So that's pretty rad. And then you can hunt as well. You can hunt all the animals in the game. Uh, you know, like you can use a bow and arrow for hunting your small game. We got some scrap metal here. Hmm. I don't need this, but I'm gonna pick it up anyways because it's just sitting out here, begging to be touched. This is the other style of loot trades. Nice, we got two arrows, and we've got some uh, gunpowder here. We're going to use that gunpowder later on in shell casings to create uh, ammunition. Nice. Not any more nails, but uh, but we'll find more. Another crate over there. You'll find a lot of crates are guarded by these animals. And uh, just use your best judgment. I mean, it's going to take you a while to, uh, to, uh, oh crap, there's a bear somewhere over here. Holy shit, we're going to run away from that bear. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of got a little bit too close to him, so I'm just going to book it. This is where I like keeping my stamina in reserve. Because then you can run away. Holy crap, we got two on me. Alright, so good thing I have a bit of stamina on me. You can see my strength is going down. I'm at 60. Gotta grab that on the way, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, a bit more of it just to make sure that this bear is gone. Okay. So it uh, looks like he got tired out. He's not moving. Usually they just kind of follow you a little bit longer. So, <laughs> so yeah, let's catch our breath here. Oh my gosh, that was a hell of a jog. So yeah, lesson one, <laughs> do not play or get near those animals, otherwise, there's a crate right there, there yep. otherwise it's going to be a bad day. Wooden crate too, so we'll probably get some more nails out of here, rock on. Nice. I've already got 23 nails, let's do an assessment here, I've got 23 nails, I need maybe 10 plus more fibers, and I need about 70 more logs. So we're going to get chopping here. It's pop onion in this area. Oh, that just looks refreshing. Where the heck did I go to? Okay, I started, I think, way over there. Made it all along here, and now I'm over here. I've got another stream. Nice. Time-wise, we're uh, about middle of the day. And uh, let's go ahead and... I think I'm just going to come back down here. I'll come up here tomorrow. So there's fiber plant over there. I think I, maybe I'll come back over here tomorrow and take a look. You need to be thinking about your first, you know, where you want your base at on your first day. That's really important. So be thinking about that. Okay, where did that fiber there is? I'm gonna blend in out here. You want to think about where you want your base. You're gonna have to think about things like, uh, you know, is it close to water? Okay, what is that deer running from? me or something evil, something evil, of course. So you want to be thinking about, you know, is it close to water, is it close to game, like rabbits and things, and is it close to, you know, trees and, and plants?
you saw that fiber plant too, didn't you? Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. I think these things have timers on them because, um, you know, I'll walk up to it like this, you know, as I'm walking up, I'll see it vanish. Aw, he's getting his little drink of water. I'll see these things vanish. And then, conversely, I'll spin around and I'll see new ones pop up. I think there's individual timers on these. But the trees, though, they, they always stay in the same place. They don't ever change. Yeah, that's right. You walk away. That's right. Take off, sir. It looks like I can maybe I can swim across. I liked that waterfall I saw when I first spawned. I'm digging that, so I think I want to adventure back over there. Maybe pop my base over there. So it looked like there was some small game, and I've got plenty of water too. And um, I don't know how often those crates spawn over there, but uh, it feels like it's kind of uh, out of the way, kind of up in a private area. So I think I'm going to adventure over there, but you want to think about that when you're building your base. You know, location's important. If you uh, want to take your base down, look at that. That is just beautiful, isn't it? I think that's where I came out of was right there. Or was it right there? No, I think it was. I think it was right there. Either way, that looked, that looked rad too. So I'm going to go that way. Let's swim across this lake. Because you can swim in the game. As soon as you get in the water, you're going to sink. So you want to hold the shift the uh, shift key down, or not the shift key, the space bar down, to uh, tread water. Some areas of this lake are quite deep. You can get things like sandstone, which is that white uh, that white thing right there, and then this kelp too, this green stuff. Yummy, kelp burps, tasty. Don't stay in the water too long because you will drown. Uh, that's no fun. So I'm just going to tread across here. A little swimming. But in the water you can grab their kelp. Here you can see there's there's another, looks like maybe sandstone. Over there on that rock. Maybe we'll dive down and grab a couple of couple more kelp. I see one right, I see two, three down here. So we can hit a big gulp of air. And go down. a little bit hard holding this axe and gathering kelp <laughs> at the same time. Okay, let's get up to the surface so I don't uh, drown. Oh yeah, barely there. Obviously, uh, don't want to stay in too long. Probably health down just a, just a smidge there, 74 of 80. So let's get out of this water. Yeah, I think that's where I started at, was, was right over there. But if not, it looks beautiful. We're going to head over that way. See if I can find some more. Uh, we'll see where I'm at here. I need I need to get uh, about 60 more logs. I've got enough nails. And I'm getting close on the fiber, so maybe I'll adventure up over on that uh, the other side of that creek there. That stream. And see if there's other goodies over there. So, uh, let's book it across here. Across here, yeah. Here we go. Uh, all right. Carefully come up here. Ah, these trees are just beautiful. Nice. So what else can we do in the game? You can actually fish. You can, you can uh, craft a fishing pole, attach some grub to it, and you can go fish out in the lake. It's pretty cool. And the game has a, a pretty pretty cool built base building system. You can, uh, you can pop up some walls, you can upgrade them and reinforce them. And uh, you can also go as far as, uh, you know, you're going to need to manage your, um, your power and your mass in your base. You can go as far as building generators to help with that. You can create uh, power storage units, and you can also uh, you can even pop solar panels on your base. So you can uh, maximize your 
you know, the sun for your energy storage. It's pretty cool. Let's grab some more trees here. You can also cook in the game. So uh, tomorrow we'll, we'll hunt some small game. Show you how to do that, and we'll um, we'll cook we'll cook that stuff over a campfire. But you can also craft like a, a wood burning stove and an, even an oven. There's cooking recipes so you can craft uh, you know soups and things like that. Keep yourself well fed. That is pretty, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe head up that way, straight uh, straight east here and see. It's about uh, got a little bit more daylight left, so we should be on track to get the rest of our resources here. But yeah, you can cook in the game. There's recipes. You you need to boil water. You collect water from these creeks here. It's gonna be dirty water, and you're gonna need to boil that. Look down over here. Love that. Love that. That is just so pretty. Little chicken there running away. It's also got a really cool weapons crafting system, so you can upgrade your weapons, make them more powerful. So I like that aspect too. Also, a character clothing system, so you can uh, craft more uh, armor for yourself. So you can uh, get up in these higher elevation areas and do some exploring. Definitely has the exploring aspect of it. The, I mean, the map's not like, you know, Milky Way sized in its size. I mean, nothing like that. But, it's. I mean, I'll say it's fairly decent. And it took you some time to get from one edge to the other. So you can definitely explore. I love calling out these rock formations. You want to check for that too in the game. I think I might have already said that. But you want to look for rock formations and certain landmarks. It'll help you navigate around. Let's go, let's go check up here a little bit. As you climb these hills here, you'll see my temperature meter on the top left. It's going to start to decrease because it is colder up here. Um, I like this area too because things tend to stick out a bit more. So you probably gather that you can definitely gather trees and gather wood from these trees. Uh, maybe we'll circle around here, I guess. Some scrap metal there, grab that. And you can gather, uh, gather wood. You can mine. You can obtain plants. So other points in this game really is all about surviving. I mean, every day is about surviving. You don't want to die. I mean, death isn't the end of the world. If you die, like I said, you spawn on another area of the map. You gotta get back to your body in time. Or, uh, man, this is a really awesome area. I think I wanna pop a base over here. Anyway, you gotta get back to your body in time or you lose your stuff. Uh, there's no save games, it automatically saves for you. So you can't, uh, if you die, you can't, like, go back. Go back five minutes before and say, okay. Put me back to where I died, just before I died. There's a fence over there. That's the boundary of the game. You can't go any further than that. Maybe the developer will extend that someday. So maybe let's go check check out over here and see if we can find maybe some more crates or something. So there's a weather system in the game. It's nice and sunny today, but it can definitely be stormy. Uh, raining like crazy, thunderstorms. You also have to watch your thirst 
um, which you can see um, got the the uh, the food icon here because I'm starving. My my fruits and vegetables are getting a bit low, so I'm gonna go ahead and tank this apple. Bring that up a little bit so I don't starve to death. We're gonna talk about proteins. We're gonna get some protein tomorrow. You can bring that up from uh, from fiber bars or protein bars. we doing on wood? We got 72 logs, 23 nails, and 17 fibers, so we're getting really close. So we still got a little bit more time of the day, so we're going to keep chopping a little bit here. And uh, we'll keep talking about the game and how cool it is. So you gotta watch your thirst and hunger. You gotta watch those two mechanics of the game as well as your hydration. If those fall down too low, you're gonna start suffering the consequences of that. You know, your stomach feeling like it's turning itself inside out. Not a fun experience. Also, when I started the game, I, uh, I had the uh, hunter's thing turned on. The, the hunter's uh, option turned on, which means that uh, after a couple of days after you set up your base, you're going to have AI hunters, and they're going to they're going to build bases and they're going to come hunt you down too. It's a nice. Uh, you can turn that off if you don't like that. If you just want to focus on exploring and dealing with uh, what's already in the package in the game, which is a lot of things, you can turn that off. Thought I saw a crit over here. That sun is starting to set soon, so we need to be thinking about uh, crafting our base components here real quick. In fact, I'm going to start crafting a couple of the subcomponents because um, I'm, those take a bit of time to grind out. So let's go ahead and hit the tab key here, and let's look at this thir third one here, which looks like a house. What we need to do to build our foundation is we need five wooden planks, twelve nails, and two cordage. Thankfully, I already have the cordage, but that's where your fiber pieces here come into play. So let's go ahead and select the second one here, which is where we're going to build those wooden planks. I like 10, 12 of those should be good to start with. That should get us going. It's going to take a bit of time, so hopefully by the time we get back to where we want to pop our base up, those will be finished. And I'm just hoping I can find maybe another crate today. If not, I think I'm pretty well. I mean, I didn't quite get enough wood. Of course, I've just used this wood already. I mean, I was pretty close on the wood. I've got enough nails. I'm pretty close on my fiber, honestly. So I'm not. Uh, I think I'm pretty good. Pretty good shape. So what I'm going to do is head back. Um, figure out where I want a base at. Do I want it over there, or do I want it here, or over there? Hmm. Up there, it looks like that rock's kind of tall, which would make it a little bit more difficult for hunters to get to me. So I'm going to book it over there. Yeah, I think I want to build my base up there. Oh, look at that, another crate. Sweet. No nails, but that's okay. We got electrical components and stuff. Some more scrap metal, so we'll, that'll be helpful later on. So you don't want to be out here um, when it's dark out, because the temperature drops quickly. And, uh, yeah, let's come up this rock here. I think I'm going to build it on the top here. The temperature drops quickly, and you're going to start to freeze to death. So you want to get a fire going as well. Can I climb up this rock? Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, I've got a good view up here. Looks awesome. I think I want to pop my foundation. I'm going to put my base entrance maybe right here. So let's take a look. We've got some more planks grinding away, so while that's going on... In fact, let me just uncue these because I have enough to get my, my first piece going. So let's click on this base icon here and let's check it out. We can create our first foundation. And we're going to need to pop a fire on that. So let's come over here to the campfire menu. So we need two more sticks. We need two sticks and four logs. We've got plenty of wood. Let's create a couple sticks here. 
And then uh, we also we have a set of matches too, so we're gonna be able to start that fire up between the uh, the logs and the matches. We'll be able to get a fire going. So my foundation looks like it moved over to my eighth slot, my inventory. So let's go ahead and tap the number eight key. And uh, it is hard to see right now. So let's hope I put this in the right spot. I'm gonna pop that there. And uh, yeah, that's good. And let's get our campfire going. Let's go ahead and craft that campfire. You can see it's already 2 Celsius and I'm getting really cold. So we need to get this fire going right away. I'm going to freeze to death out here. So there it is in my 8th slot. Let's pop him maybe right in the center of my foundation. And push the F key to open your fire, your campfire menu. So we're going to drag this wood over here to the fuel slot. Which brings my fuel meter up. And our ignition source is going to, we're going to build, use these matches here to do that. You can create a fire starting kit later on too, which is handy. And let's go ahead and ignite that. Oh man, just in time, I w it was just at the freezing point. Now we're at 9 Celsius, so I mean, that's still cold, but not, uh, not freezing cold. Nice. So let's take a look at uh, what else we've got in here. My, uh, my, my proteins are getting low. We're going to work on that tomorrow. We got through our first day, which is the, the most important piece. And we've got a foundation piece here. We need to bring up our fruits and vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and eat the rest of these berries. Maybe a couple pieces of this kelp. If I hover over that, you can see it brings up my fruits and vegetables plus nine. And relieves my hunger by three points. So let's eat, uh, let's eat a couple of these. I'm going to have two tomorrow just in case. And I'm a little bit thirsty. So I'm going to go ahead and drink the water from my canteen. And that's it, it's empty. I need to refill that back up, so I need to jump in the in the creek here. Jump in the water even though it's freezing cold. I'm going to right click on this and fill it up with water. And then get my butt back up to my base there. If I can. Oh, what's that? It's over here, right? Back up on my base. Oh, freeze my, freeze my uh, bad things off. Minus four. Er, yeah, that's cold. We're gonna put this water back on the campfire in this. Uh, this I've got three cooking slots. I'm gonna put it in the first one, and that's gonna that's going to boil the water and turn it into purified water, so I can drink that later on. Looks good. Okay, so while that's cracking here, I'm gonna go ahead and explain a bit more about the game. So it's using the Unreal 3 engine. It's beautiful. Recommended system is uh, you need at least a quad-core CPU, 8, gra uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, Windows 7 is fine, most of us are running Windows 10 now, and you need a, an NVIDIA GTX 760 or more, or better, and you know, or a Radeon HD 6950 or higher graphics card to run this game. You need about 1.5 gigabytes of, um, of hard drive space or 1500, uh, 1500 megabytes will be sufficient to run this game just fine. Me, I have a pretty decent system. I've got an i7, 7700K, 4.2 GHz processor, 32 gigs of RAM, the G-Skill Ripjaw 5 series, I love that RAM. And I've got an, a GTX, NVIDIA, NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti graphics card, the FTW2 version, running Windows 10. I'm getting 60 plus, 60 to 70 frames per second with that. It's pretty rad. Like I said earlier, there's some gotchas to the game. And not all of the features are 100% complete. And there are a couple balancing issues in the game. I mean, nothing that should deter you away from actually checking this game out. Um, so that'll that'll be fixed in future releases. And there's uh, just a couple bugs here and there. Earlier you might have ca caught that. I was trying to hatchet that tree, and I had to reselect my hatchet again to chop that down. So little minor stuff like that that will get improved over time. So at any rate, um, we haven't really touched the surface of this game yet. Just getting through the first day is what this is all about. But there's tons more content to this game. We're going to explore some of these other options and features in the game as we progress through, uh, continually um, progress through each day one at a time and explore some of these other options. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. This is a really amazing game, seriously. It's very inexpensive right now and you should definitely get it in early access. Awesome game. Hope this helped you out and, and either inspired you to purchase the game and check it out or at least helped you get through your first day if you're starting out this game. If you liked this video, you thought it was helpful, go ahead and uh, hit a like there on the bottom. And if you want to watch the other videos, check them out. Subscribe to my channel. That'd be awesome. We'll call it a day. Thanks, guys, for watching, and have a great rest of your day.